Professor Mohamed Shah with you. Uh, today uh, our subject uh, is about uh, um, heat transfer uh, problem uh, via uh, concentric tubes. We can consider it uh, um, some kind of uh, uh, chill and tube heat exchanger. Um, first of all, you have to specify your folder, open your MATLAB, go to your download fol folder, okay. okay this is uh, your e drive going to your download folder, okay, and you will find your uh, model uh, is ready here, okay. Uh, double clicking or uh, drag and drop, okay, and uh, let's see. Okay, it uh, it will take some time based on your computer or your uh, uh, model size. And okay, this is our main uh, model. Uh, we have here um, uh, uh, some kind of uh, heat transfer problem. We had we have, uh, hot water inlet and outlet, and we have parallel feed inlet water and this is a uh, uh, cold water inlet and, bar and outlet the, to the other side and uh, we can uh, we need to discover um, what is your overall heat transfer coefficients what is the effect on uh, heat overall heat transfer coefficients based on uh, uh, your design your tubes Therefore, this is performance model. So we have uh, tube lengths, tube diameters. Uh, let's discover some uh, parameters. Okay, uh, we need to assign our uh, hot side uh, thermal power and inlet cold side temperature. Suppose we 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 have inlet temperature, and we have inlet side. Uh, this is cold side temperature. Inlet side temperature. Uh, hot water temperature for cooling and hot and uh, we have uh, uh, flow rate we have cold side flow rate and hot side flow rate and we have some uh, specifications such as what is your tube lens what is your uh, uh, inlet hot side diameter uh, inlet hot side uh, cold, cold side diameter and we can uh, control our uh, diameter ratio Diameter ratio means a small size, a small diameter over a uh, large diameter for for both cold and, uh, and hot sides. Okay, but in this model, I'm going to uh, change uh, the diameter ratio just only for, for cold side. Okay, uh, set your solution time into zero and let's go inside here and you will find these are your. Uh, your inputs and these are your results and outputs and I already checked the box in order to uh, discover my outputs in data inspectors uh, for the code you can discover your code from here uh, first of all um, we need to assign diameter calculations this is uh, DH out means uh, diameter of hot side outlet outlet diameter uh, inner tube outer diameter and uh, outer diameter uh, 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 outer tube uh, for co uh, cold side diameter this is cold side okay uh, multiplied by the, uh, the ratio and therefore we need to, to calculate the hydraulic diameter hydraulic diameter means uh, the cold side diameter you uh, minus uh, the the inlet outside diameter. Therefore, we can assign we can calculate the, the uh, uh, cool side surface area. Okay, this is cool side surface area, and hot side surface area. We can uh, cal also calculate from area and mass flow rate. We can uh, calculate the, the um, velocity, velocity, velocity for velocities for hot side and cool side based on uh, mass flow rate and uh, um, density rho and this is your functions uh, CP uh, specific heat capacity rho density and mu or dynamic viscosity and thermal conductivity but I I, I, uh, I don't need that 
at this time. Uh, after calculating uh, our uh, velocities, we can calculate random number, okay, for hot side and cold side, and we can calculate uh, outlet uh, hot side temperature based on energy balance through the tubes, and then we can calculate um, uh, capacities uh, for hot side, capacities for cold side, so we can decide maximum and minimum capacities and capacity ratio C minimum over uh, C maximum. From that we can calculate effectiveness which is for hot side C hot over C minimum and from that we can calculate after calculating the effectiveness we can calculate outlet cooling side based on C minimum over C cold uh, multiplied by uh, temperature difference large temperature difference plus uh, early cooling uh, temperature and we can calculate then uh, uh, cooling thermal load then we can calculate the number of transfer unit for parallel this is for parallel flow configuration because this is parallel flow configuration and we have to use this uh, equation based on uh, ratio uh, heat capacity ratios and from that we can calculate uh, overall heat transfer coefficients uh, because it's uh, number of transfer unit normally equal u multiplied by a uh, over c okay uh, therefore we can uh, uh, calculate uh, overall heat transfer coefficient for hot side and cold side and this is total overall heat loss okay okay this is a simple uh, equation and then uh, let's hit run and see our results based on our uh, assumptions okay okay this this is our results suppose I, I I forget to assign my my uh, my load okay my my load thermal power you can assign your thermal power okay if you would like to change the limitation you can just click click here on this muzzle block and right click and go to the mask edit mask and then you can going here this is your parameters check parameters and you will find all your inputs so you can change the limitation this is minimum limitation minimum range and maximum range so you can for example this is power hot side thermal power i i uh, fixed it at uh, um, one maybe from one up to two thousands if you would like uh, you can change this if you'd like 2000 watts you can change this you can reform and, and the same for for the rest saving okay and this this is our result based on zero time domain uh, let's discover some uh, outputs I emphasize here I'm sorry okay uh, for cold side uh, this is um, velocity for hot velocity stream for cold Renal numbers for cold and hot outlet hot side outlet temperatures. This is uh, because I was assigned to have assigned temperature for hot side at 50 degrees Celsius for 50 degrees Celsius and cold side is 20 degrees Celsius. So we have uh, we have uh, 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 46 uh, temperature and we have uh, 22 outlet uh, for cooling because the length of the tube is not uh, large you can you can change the length if you would like uh, hot side heat transfer coefficients for uh, hot side heat transfer coefficient for cold side uh, this is your total heat transfer coefficient number of transfer unit uh, hot thermal side power and uh, your effectiveness surely you can uh, assign your uh, simulation time into infinity Okay, and just going here, double clicking, returning back and hit run, and we would like to change some results with respect to the time. I will increase uh, thermal power, as you can see, increasing thermal power will affect your effectiveness. Okay, increasing thermal power, uh, hot side temperature, only I'm sorry, cold side temperature. Suppose it's around uh, 25. Uh, a little hot side temperature uh, let, let it be uh, lower than uh, 
let it be 30 degrees Celsius. I'm sorry. Okay, we can go far from this because uh, we have log, we have log equation. Uh, we have we can go uh, we can go far from uh, based on uh, elite and cooling side because we have no equation let's go up okay let's go here and see our results okay uh, we have here uh, we can conduct inspect number of transfer units changing varying goes um, our changes uh, overall heat loss total okay and we have for cold for hot okay and we have uh, outlet cooling temperature outlet hot temperature as you can see increasing uh, the electric grid temperature increasing the cooling temperature with respect to the decreasing of hot temperature outlet because this is a representative process for uh, uh, heat removal. Uh, Renal number for uh, cold, cold and, and hot. Uh, effectiveness of your system. Uh, thermal load. Uh, velocity for cold. Velocity for hot. And so on. Uh, we have another method to, uh, to extract our results. Okay. Surely, if you go outside here in your workspace, okay, you have another type. You can uh, check here, model explorer, and going here, heat transfer to you, and you can uh, uh, save your final value to the workspace, as you can see here. Okay, but I, I will do this in another model. Okay, I saved this model. I have another copy for this one, so I. I I will close this one. Let's go for another copy. This is another version. Okay. In this one, we can assign our inputs with respect to as a matrix. Uh, suppose I need to inspect my results. This is cold side diameter ratio. You can change your cold side diameter ratio. Okay. Uh, uh, this is your diameter ratio. Suppose you, we can enter it as a matrix. Okay. Uh, we can change this, but if you uh, uh, let's let's go for uh, uh, more points. We can add more points. 0 0.9. Okay. And suppose I need to uh, edit uh, cold side flow rate. Suppose it's for uh, five values, for example. And edit hot side flow rate. We can assign five values also for hot side thermal power. Uh, from uh, 500 step 10 up to uh, for example uh, uh, 900, 900 or 1000 1000 okay uh, if this if your matrix are four elements you have to assign the rest as a four elements four vector elements so uh, or five elements you have the rest should be uh, uh, five elements. Let's go here and I can from here going this one, heat transfer, heat transfer to you. And I have to send my result. Okay, send my result to the uh, to MATLAB workspace. Okay, and at zero time, we can run our model in order to discover our results. Okay, yes, there's. Uh, I have to adjust my si matrix size. I have to adjust my matrix size. So I have to reconfigure this one. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It should be 100. 100. At this time, let's see. Okay. Okay. Maybe I have to enter it. Uh, enter it by myself. Okay. I let it be matrix 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Yes, that's fine. Let's try again. Drawing and hit on and see. Okay, it should work now. 
Okay, these are, these, these are our results, so we can draw many figures based on our uh, configuration. You can, for example, you can, this is outlet temperature, cooling temperature, you can click here and hold control and going for uh, overall heat transfer coefficient, going to the plot and you can plot. This is effect of temperature rising over uh, the overall heat transfer coefficient. And also you can add uh, the effect of thermal power as on uh, overall heat transfer coefficient if you would like. Thermal power variation for the effect of uh, overall heat transfer coefficient. Uh, diameter ratio, diameter ratio over heat transfer coefficient. Let's see. Okay. This is your diameter ratio for, for hot or diameter ratio for cold. Uh, let's see here. Okay, changing your uh, varying with respect to the to uh, what about number of transfer unit? We can inspect number of transfer unit based on diameter ratio. Let's go for diameter ratio. Okay, number of transfer units. Okay, and effectiveness. I think let's go for effectiveness. Yes, effectiveness is varying versus a diameter ratio. Let's see here. Okay. So you can uh, uh, extract your data, whatever you would like. You can even uh, double clicking here. You will find it stored here. If you enter uh, more than five values, you can. You can enter more than five values. Suppose I need, uh, let's go here, saving. Uh, let's go for, for example, I will, I will fix my power at 500. Um, uh, floor it up to seven cooling flow rate and let's go for more than more uh, uh, let's go for 0 0.95 0 0.9 0 0.85 0 0.85 as a diameter ratio 0 0.8 I need seven values I think this is uh, this are one two three four five six seven seven values okay that's fine and we can hit run again and see okay it will give us seven values here okay you can go here and uh, redraw your results again a diameter ratio okay versus uh, number of transfer unit and see okay okay diameter ratio versus uh, or we can use uh, cooling mass flow rate versus uh, cooling heat transfer coefficient or cold side heat transfer coefficient this is the effect of mass flow rate over uh, the heat transfer coefficient uh, through this pipe. You can change your uh, tube lens and discover the effect of your lens on your results. Um, you have a wide range of operating conditions you can change, you can extract your results uh, and so on. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share uh, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.